Hey creators, Nate here with Production Crate. Today I'm going to be showing you our new sprite generator script, which allows you to quickly generate sprite animations and uh, sprite layouts just like this to your own custom specifications. And you can quickly create many looks like, uh, for example, this zombie in a walk cycle or something like this magical shockwave. But as you can see, we can very quickly generate uh, as many frames and view the entire sprite animation uh, very quickly. So the first thing you need to do is simply launch the script. You can choose the width and height of whatever you want the final sort of layout composition showing all the frames to be. So if you wanted to, you could maybe double this, make it 2048. Then you can choose how many frames you want to have. This is how many frames your animation will be. Uh, so you have these selections here. We'll just say 64 and we're going to press generate. It will generate a single frame with a number and a background color inside of here. Now, if we want to go change the contents, it's very easy and it's all procedurally generated. So if we go into this animation comp it's been created, uh, we can go ahead and modify the positioning, for example, of this number. We can change the background. We could even maybe move it so it's only half of the, the screen and it will automatically update for all of these inside of your Sprite Atlas. Uh, so what we can then do is simply insert our own elements to create our own sprites. I can take some footage crate elements like this green screen zombie and we'll bring that in here. I'll scale it down so it fits within the size of our sprite here. And if we want, we can key out the green or we can keep it. I'm going to go ahead and move the number down here, go back into my Atlas. And as you can see, we can see the update which has each of our frame animations and we can go in and see all of them. One other cool thing, if we look inside of our Atlas comp, we have a controller null and this allows you to change the size of your sprite sheet. So if you wanted to make it just a super tall sprite sheet or a very wide sprite sheet, you could do that and customize it. But the default value is eight to have a nice simple square. And like I said, it's very easy to modify these elements. I can remove this zombie footage, turn off the background, and I'm going to use this magic shockwave from Footage Crate, bring it into my animation procedural comp, and scale it down till it fits nicely inside of here. And now again, back inside of my Atlas, this will be entirely updated and we can see each frame of our new sprite animation. And the sky is really the limit with this, you guys. You can change the width and height to make a Sprite Atlas as large as you want, and you can use any elements to very quickly change and uh, make everything procedural and update inside of the final uh, Atlas composition. I hope you guys enjoy using this script, and remember to make it awesome.